<laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl Sharice A coming to you with a brand new video. I did filmed this look right here for you guys. Nice glittery eye that I've been doing a lot lately using my It's My Ray Ray palette. Um, they're selling these at Ulta online and in stores now. I got mine in the store. So I'm super happy to use this. And until next time guys, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, but I'll see you next time. Bye. Just make you dark. I'll show you the pictures, but these aren't or okay there guys, first things first. We are priming our eyelids with a foundation. Foundation that I'm using is a mixture of Maybelline Fit Me Spicy Brown and L'Oreal's Pro Glow. We're just putting that over the whole eyelid just to neutralize and make it all one even shade. Blending that out with our Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I love the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge in the pink, the funny shaped pink one because it gets in like all the, all the small crevices of your eye. Okay, now we're just setting it, the foundation, with a powder. It's the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. Hop it into the It's My Ray Ray palette. Jumping into the orangey, the orangey color. I'll put the names of all the colors in the bottom bar, of course. But we're going to put that orange color right into our crease and work it in as our transition color. Working it in. Building the color. Gonna dip into that fuchsia orangey color. I don't know how to really explain it, but dip it into that. We're just packing that on. Like I said, we're intensifying and building up on the colors in the crease. And of course, I have my tape on my eyelids to help sharpen the end. So I got a nice, sharp, clean edges and plus I'm going to do a wing for this look so I just need this is my trick to make the wing super easy still blending trying to fuse all the colors together we're going to a pink shimmery color in the it's my Ray Ray palette Packing that onto the lids. Now blending out the crease color with the brush we use for the crease. Going into the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe. Spraying it with some MAC Fix Plus. Making it into a nice little paste. I'm going to put that in our inner corner of our eyes. Blending those colors together, trying to make everything look seamless. Now going into our wing liner. Like I said, if you use the tape, it's pretty fool's proof. I'm just working on the wing right now, trying to get my lines as precise and even on both sides. We all know that we both can't have two perfect wing lines. If we do, then good luck to you. Okay, 
Gonna just clean up those brows real quick. Going in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Just filling it in, and that is an espresso. Peeling that tape off. Of course, I have to take a picture. <laughs> Let's onto our face. We're priming our face with the Faracel, I think is how you pronounce it. Faracel Unicorn Tears Face Primer. Well, it's a face serum, but you use as a primer. I'm going to my foundation combination, which is the MAC, not MAC, Maybelline Fit Me in Spicy Brown with the L'Oreal Soft Glow and Soft Sable. Working it in with a brush to apply it to our face. That is the Real Techniques Face Expert brush. And then we're just going to pounce that in with our beauty sponge. Going into the Anastasia contour kit using that light color to conceal looking like a crazy ghost lady going into that dark color and just chiseling out my face And then on top of the contour color, I'm going to use the LA Color Girl, not LA Color Girl, LA Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn. Blend out the contour shade, the dark contour first, and then go into our highlight. Going back into that nose, finally finishing the chin, setting our pow setting our powder, setting our face with the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. Doing a nice light layer. Well, I was doing a light layer, but blending that out, not trying to let it bake. Baking really dries my eyes out. Finishing out with the It's My Ray Ray palette, going to do our water bottom line of our eye. And just putting the same colors that we put on the top and our crease onto our bottom to even out our eyes. Put some black eyeliner in our waterline using the L'Oreal Silk Eyeliner. I'm just trying to finish out my eyebrows. I lost a little bit of my tail when I did my foundation, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Definer Brow in dark brown just to add to the ends and fill in whatever got washed away with the foundation. Going into my all-time favorite, my Ulta Contour Kit. The powder one, using the powders just to set all the contour shades. Going into my highlight kit, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero, making myself a little highlight combination. Of course, I sprayed it with some Max Fix Plus, my brush, just to intensify that highlight color. Putting on the high points where I want to glow. I wasn't really set with that highlight, so I jumped back into the It's Ray Ray palette and went to 
her highlight, the radiant highlight, just to amp it up a little bit more. I like the glow. I need a little bit more. Put that on the nose. And there we have it. Well, of course, can't complete a look without finishing your lips. Priming my lips with the ColourPop Matte Lip Primer. And I'm using the Maybelline Lip Paint in, I don't know the shade right now. I'll, of course, put in the bottom bar. Going backwards, I forgot to put blush on. Putting this Coral Blush on from Milani on my cheeks. And now I'm going back to the lips and I'm using the KKW Beauty Lip Gloss in Bronze. Spraying the face with Fix Plus. And there you have it, people. The finished look. Don't I look pretty? Oh. <laughs> As always, thank you guys for watching and just please like and subscribe in the bottom bar.